Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending this webinar um, delivered by myself, Gavin Sykes, um, and I'm joined this morning by Jeff May, who's the Regional Sales Director at Comfortel. Good morning, everybody. We're looking today at addressing um, conferencing challenges and opportunities and how Comfortel will allow you to uh, maximise um, your opportunities to, um, to do that. So in today's agenda, we'll be looking at the changing nature of meetings um, and end user conferencing needs, um, how they change um, even on a month by month basis, um, common pain points for the end users and challenges that they face during um, audio and video meetings, what to look for when selecting endpoints um, to actually tackle um, these issues. Um, and then we'll be introducing a bit of what's new with Comfortel with the 800 um, and looking um, a bit more of the features of that, so the flexibility, likability as well um, as the scalability. Then we'll round up with a Q&A section at the end, um, although there is a chat window on the right hand side. So if you have any questions um, during this webinar today, feel free to pop them in that window um, and then we'll answer them at the end, um, along with giving you the opportunity to ask any further questions then. So hi everybody, so um, as Gavin said, we're going to start off by talking about the changes and the trends that are happening in the collaboration market and it's exciting, it's huge, it's massive uh, and it's dynamic and we're going to whistle through some of these so please ask questions later on at any time uh, we can come back to you. So the first key thing is that uh, the, the size of meetings are drastically changing. A few years ago, they were big town hall type of meetings. Uh, they've, that's kind of move where you might get meetings of five to ten people, and very soon it's going to be you know between one and five people. Um, so it's a massive change in the way that people work. People are having much, much more fr frequent meetings more often in small numbers, and so we have to supply equipment that can support that. And you guys need to understand your customers are going to have lots and lots of different meeting requirements, spaces, sizes and types. So if we look at the increased frequency of these multiple um, and smaller meetings as well, um, even where mid meetings, people will come in and out of those and you'll have um, remote users as well on the same meeting. Um, clear audio and ease of use is key. Um, so end users these days, they want optimal audio quality, ease of use and future proof as well. They don't want to buy something today that say in a year or two will be obsolete. They want something today that will last them for the next five years, for example. The, the next thing that's uh, key is that uh, the work people, the, sp the people in the space are uh, are developing all the time and it's making video the increasingly preferred type of business communication it's no longer just for the executives or the directors or the VIPs it's available for everybody people are using video in all of the private and domestic life people expect it in, in business as well um, and it's the Millennials have been big spearheads in this you know they, they've been brought up on a video engaged environment they expect it to be available and these Millennials are now in positions of of, of kind of management there's they're setting the standards they're setting the processes so video is only going to get bigger in a working environment so we need to accommodate that we need to enable that and you know, it's happening all the time because it's, it's boosted by the fact that so many different video services are available online now on the cloud. You know, there are many of them. We'll touch on some of them today. But the proliferation of the services mean that people just want to have this in all of their meetings everywhere. I'll add as well that um, even though the slide says millennials, the older generation um, are using it much more as well, um, especially, um, well, an, a personal example via WhatsApp. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we had video calls from even different countries. There was my mother in England, my wife's mother in Spain, um, and then her dad in Italy. All in the space of a few hours, we were all video calling each other. Um, like, we just pressed one button in WhatsApp and that was it. Just away you go with a video call. So looking at the pain points and challenges that end users face, 
Um, most, most of it at the moment is more of a technology mismatch. Um, so people want to be comfortable with what they're using and confident as well that it will be compatible with their platforms. Um, they don't want to spend the first 15 minutes of every meeting getting all the kit and the platform and everything to work together. They just want to press a button in, say, Hangouts, for example, um, and be able to speak to and see people on the other end without having to worry, is my camera plugged in? Have I got the right thing installed? Um, do I have uh, the correct connection even? Um, you just want to, it to be as simple as possible. Um, which is why Comfortel um, do um, endpoints that work with a range of platforms um, such as Teams, Slack, 3CX, Hangouts. Um, and this allows you to uh, cast off those um, shackles um, of the setup and uh, be spontaneous. So another issue for end users, the pain points that they see. Um, think about the remote attendees. A lot of the previous uh, conferencing business has been looking at the, the traditional meeting rooms, the boardrooms, but there are so many people joining meetings more and more from remote places. When you're talking to your customers, consider where these people are, how many are going to be together, are they all single people or are they going to be on the road as a group? Um, and don't leave them to get the raw end of the deal, you know, where that is typically what happens, their audio and video are not considered so they do get compromised. And then wherever they are in the small rooms or the big rooms, don't don't kind of let your customer feel boxed in by the technology around them. Let them be spontaneous. If they want to stand up and walk around and have some blue sky thinking or you know get some stuff done on the whiteboard, let them do that by having the equipment that's powerful enough for those voices to be picked up anywhere in the room. It's all available. There's no need to be shackled anymore. So one of the other main pain points is um, unintuitive interfaces as well, where um, say your platform or your endpoint, for example, has buttons with maybe symbols on it um, that you're not actually sure what they do. Um, so you dare press it. It could even be the, the right thing to do with that button. It may do what you need it to do to get things working. Um, but the, the reluctance to press that button just in case it hangs up the call, for example, um, makes meetings difficult. Um, so Comfortel are working on much more intuitive um, interfaces um, and taking that to mean a lot more smartphone like, like your iPhone or your Android for example. Um, so they've developed their Comfortel Unite app um, which you download onto your smartphone, um, hook up to the Comfortel system um, and then your smartphone is the remote control. You're used to it, you know what all the buttons do um, and then it's very simple for the Comfortel to just do the rest of the work when you press something. I'll just add to that for Gavin, if you don't mind. Um, I mean, all of these pain points and challenges are important, but um, you know, the, the fact is that people going into a meeting room are not using these devices every day. So they're not familiar. And often these meetings are delayed, as Gavin said. So we need to make them as easy and intuitive as possible. And this is a huge, huge area of development for, for us so that we can make not just great quality, but easy to use and therefore effective solutions. And then all of this means that what is it now that we need to look at when we're talking about specific endpoints, how to get started. Um, the key thing is talk to your customers. You know, you, you've just heard about the global pain points that are reported back. Um, they will exist, but there may be some more specific ones. So talk to your customers about their actual meeting experiences. Who is involved in them? Where are they taking place? Are they internal, external? Are they off-site or on-site? Um, are they expected to change? Are they successful? And by having that discussion, you can then start to just understand every customer's requirement and offer the appropriate solutions. And we'll talk you through what they are from the Comtel point of view, but there are so many different people now in these remote meetings that there has to be a lot of solutions. And it's a great way to start, is just to get chatting to your customers about this area. So looking at some innovation as well, um, as I mentioned um, earlier on in the uh, webinar, you don't want to put in an endpoint um, today that will last just for today. 
you want to put in an endpoint that is future proof and will last um, you and your customers um, for a good few years. Um, so you want to um, get together all, the, all this knowledge um, of what your customers need first of all um, and then use that to decide what would be best for them going forwards. Um, so we're not selling just a piece of equipment to put on the table in a conference room. What we're selling is successful meetings, um, efficient meetings as well, um, with less time wasted getting everything um, set up to work. Um, it just works um, when you turn it on. This is probably a very obvious comment, but please don't overlook it. You know, there are solutions for everything. There isn't just one size fits all, unfortunately. Um, if it did exist, it would be a very expensive solution. So there are solutions for different requirements, different meeting spaces. So you can make them appropriate, um, but never ever underestimate the audio requirements or the criticality of the audio, because if the audio is not good or clear, the meeting is not gonna be a success. That's the fundamental point. So there are some great options, so please be aware of them and then, make sure that what you're proposing works. Has it got the right PBX interfaces? Has it got the right systems interface? Will it work with the, with the user clients that they're working with? Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of kind of questions, but there are great solutions for all of them. And following on from that as well, uh, as key as the audio is, of course, video um, is becoming more and more important these days. And it's important to um, pick the right camera um, for the sort of room that it's going into. For example, if you're in a huddle room, um, like we are now, for example, then you don't want a narrow angle camera designed for a larger room um, because then out of meeting maybe five, six people, you'll probably only really get two or three um, in the um, in the shot. Um, so whoever's at the other end won't actually see all the other attendees in the meeting. Um, and going the other way as well, in larger conference rooms, you don't want something with such a wide angle camera um, as that will then cause everyone who is in that room to be squashed into the middle of the picture. Um, and again, it's unclear, you might not be able to see how many people are there. Um, it's important to um, select uh, flexible endpoints, um, which is what Confitel provide. They have uh, options with the cameras um, to cover most sizes of rooms. And that brings us on to kind of the final point about, you know, the, the vendors like ourselves that uh, are keen to work with you guys. You know, we are totally committed to this space. Um, we are really looking at what we can keep doing to, to maximise the efficiency. As, as Gavin said, it's not really about the, the devices anymore. It's about the quality and the success of the meetings. Um, so. We, re we offer the range of products, Gavin will introduce you to them in a second, um, but they're all flexible in different ways that you can connect multiple things to them so that you can always have a successful meeting, that they can be upgraded with latest software developments, um, that we respond to the marketplace so that as a pure play endpoint vendor, which is what we are, you know, we're totally focused to listen to you, to listen to your customers and to provide the best solutions and to evolve as this market is changing as quickly as it is. I can't tell I've been doing this for many years now. Um, so here's the uh, current range of um, audio endpoints that they offer. Um, we see on their indirect attachment and direct attachment, which essentially means the indirect ones will connect to whatever device you use. Um, to connect to the network, be that a laptop, a desk phone, soft phone, um, and then of course the 300 series with the direct attachment goes straight into the network. So starting off with the Ego, we are actually speaking to you through one of those right now, um, and that is of course what is up for grabs um, later on after the webinar. Um, and that is designed for portability above all else. It's not much bigger than a CD, for example. Um, it runs off Bluetooth, it's got NFC pairing to, to your smartphone, um, and it can do USB as well um, into a laptop, um, as can the 55 series, um, which is more designed for smaller rooms, maybe your office, for example, where if you want to call three or four people into a meeting with remote participants, everyone can be heard clearly because that will hook into your desk phone 
um, and then act as um, as the speaker essentially. The 300 series um, is the big one with a range of different options. You can connect it directly into your SIP extension, um, or you've got um, the option as well of even a GSM version. You can take a SIM card from your network provider, pop it into the 300MX, um, and away you go. And am I right in saying, Jeff, that that's unique in this space, that there's no other manufacturer that offers that? Yeah, Gavin, you are actually. That is the only one. It, it is, in fact, the world's largest mobile phone. <laughs> that's <laughs> what we do. So, um, so that's the range. Um, and just to summarise, the Ego is a great product to be carried around, you know, as a personal device. Uh, it's great when you connect it to a, a, for a group of, say, three, four, five people. The 55 series can to 10 or 15 people and 300 series is great for 10 to 20 people. And then what we've been talking about is we need and offer a great video solution as well. Our cameras are USB cameras, which means they are the simplest way to get people using video collaboration. They're just connecting to any USB port, whether it's on a laptop or a hub, and you are working. We offer two cameras, uh, both pictured here. The one on the left is what we call the Cam 20, and that's the huddle room camera. That can sit on top of a, it can clip on to the top of a laptop, or it can sit on a desk, or it can be inverted, it can be positioned anywhere. It's got its own mounting bracket uh, included. It's a wide angle lens, so it really picks up that small space where people are sat really close to it, uh, but it's a fantastic 4K high definition solution. So really great quality, all a simple single unit that's USB connected and a way to go. Great for a smaller to medium sized room. For something bigger, we've got the Cam 50. It looks like a bigger bigger family member. It's, um, it's an optical zoom. It's a fantastic 12 times optical zoom. So for those meetings where you need that intricate detail and you just never know when they may be, your customers might never know or perhaps they do, but it's a full 360 pan tilt zoom solution. USB again, and this one requires a, a power supply. It is bigger, so that would be a more permanent fixture compared to the more portable Cam 20. But with those two solutions, you're capturing the small to medium and medium to large conference rooms with great quality, easy to install kit. And then, so we talked about the, the current range. We talked about the new cameras. And what we're going to tell you about for the next few minutes is the brand new Comtel 800. And we are excited by this. It's brand new this month, October. Uh, products started to hit the, uh, the distribution channels um, just in the last week or so. So it is new. And it's designed to be different. It's designed to be the best that we can offer, the best in the marketplace. That's our objective. And I'll explain a little bit about how it goes today. But we want it to be a fantastic quality product that everybody who uses it will notice the difference, that the IT managers really like it because it's so simple to, for people to use and set up and install, and a great return on investment because it is so flexible. So that's what we're going to talk to you about for the next few minutes. And one of the great things that I can start off with this is not just let me tell you how good it is. I mean, it, this product has already won this year's 2019 Red Dot Award. Um, this is a, effectively, it's like a, a mini World Cup for the collaboration industry every year. They look at all the products in the marketplace and look at the design, the intuitiveness, the flexibility. And the Contel 800 has won the award for this year. And there's a testimony there that they say. So please, it's not just us, it's other people who are recognizing this. You're very, very welcome to kind of get hold of these and, and see what you think. We make all kind of tests and demonstrations available. And please, it's not just about the look, it's about the sound, it's about the use. And along with that is there, we find Omnisound technology as well. This is technology that Comfortel have been developing for 30 years and it's gone into all of their units. Um, so of course, new units, new version of Omnisound, um, which is even bigger and better. Um, so you've got three synchronized microphones, um, all of them with active beamforming to really work out where a person is in the room and be able to focus on them. Um, and the result of that is a particularly powerful and clear meeting um, and a natural sense of presence as well. It doesn't just sound like someone is at the other end of the phone, it sounds like they are in the room with you. 
Um, and this on its own can do meeting sizes of um, generally up to 20 people. Of course, it depends on the size of the room and the shape and everything. Um, but uh, doing a scale of people gives you a better idea of uh, the size of meetings, we believe. Yeah, and the uh, the product itself is just one product, one SKU, but it is it's got some accessories. So as Gammy said, if you need a bigger room solution, uh, you know, if you kind of got an acoustically challenged room or you just got a different range, there's different steps. Step one is just to add one expansion, intelligent expansion microphone. So it's not just a remote mic, it's an intelligent mic. It's cabled up to the main unit. And if that's not big enough, you can add a second one. So you can start to add more and more volume into a bigger room. And it's very simple. And you've got just and you've got intelligent devices everywhere in the room. And for meetings even bigger than that, um, you can actually daisy chain up to three of these units together. The one in the middle um, here, for example, will be acting as the master. Um, and then the um, two on each end of the table would be acting um, as remote units for it. Um, so this extends, of course, um, audio distribution throughout the room, um, but uh, microphone pickup as well. And each one of these retains its smart microphone features. They can still tell where someone is in the room. I mean, it just gives the same clarity over a much, much more um, large area. Um, you get six meter microphone pickup, um, which is, I would say, the size of most meeting rooms. And this allows you to take your meetings from that 20 people up to 25, 30 people as well. And just adding to that, Gavin, the, uh, the key thing about that is it's the same unit, whether it's the kind of the master or one of the extension units. So the company could have several Contel 800s deployed, but if they ever need to have a big room solution, they can just use the one that's in the room in the first place and then take another two from any other room and just connect them into the unit. So it's just one unit. It's either, you know, on its own or as a part of a three. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about which one is which. Yeah. So we've mentioned this before. This is a critical thing for every user in every conference meeting, and that is how easy is it to use. So you've seen the pictures. The phone does have its own fantastic user interface. It's got a four three inch, four point three inch backlit touch screen, very much like a smartphone does today. Uh, very intuitive. People can scroll through. They can, you know skip backwards and forwards whatever they want to do very simple to use but even if that is not quite simple enough as gavin said earlier we can use the comtel unite app everybody can download this for free um, it's ready to go all you need to do is download it and then it bluetooths your smartphone to the comtel and then the phone your mobile phone acts as its own remote control so you can join meetings from your own um, address book you just click on the name it will send the number via bluetooth to the comptel 800 which dials it then across you know a real great high quality ip network you can add people in just by clicking on names so you don't need to think about cutting people off or putting people on mute unintentionally you can do all that intentionally because it's so simple it's driven by your own device um, you can join from your own calendar. So if you've got an invitation to join a, a group meeting and you have to send in a passcode, a, a, well, you know, there's lots of things, aren't there? There's a PIN number, there's a user number, there's access code. There's all kinds of different uh, numbers which take time. And if you get it right first time, well done. But avoid that risk. Just do it through the Contel Unite app. And so simplicity is key. But then we talk about making it as flexible. So the Contel 800 also brings its own five-way bridging capability. So you can actually add another four people onto a call without considering whether you need any external bridging equipment or any external conferencing services. That's all available from the Contel 800. Yeah, completely independent of the phone system is that, um, the five-way conferencing bridge. Um, however, if you did have a, a meeting platform or um, conference system that you do want to use and then Confitel have tested the 800 with um, all of these ones that you see there so far so we've got Skype for Business, Teams, Zoom um, and it connects through a range of media as well so you've got your SIP connection, um, your USB connection so you can plug it into a laptop for example um, for hanging out on uh, GoToMeeting 
Um, you can keep it plugged in your boardroom for say WebEx um, and coming next year, um, the Bluetooth at the moment is just designed to work with the Comptel Unite app. Um, but in the first half of next year, they'll be developing Bluetooth um, to use as an audio device with your smartphone. So whatever app you have on there, you can simply use the 800 um, as the speakerphone. And looking at the hybrid conferencing as well, so you'll be able to do multiple things. Uh, well, I say at once with it, it's just easy to switch between, um, say, your Ethernet connection um, and your USB connection. Yeah, and so you could be on, say, a, a Teams or a Skype for Business call, and you need to get somebody else onto the meeting who wasn't invited or maybe don't, doesn't use that particular service. Not a problem. Just ring them from the Comptel 800 across the telephone network, get them on wherever they are on their mobile or on their office phone, and then bring them into the Skype or Teams meeting. So you've got that cross network functionality. So you never need to abandon a meeting or re reschedule it. So that kind of flexibility is crucial because more and more companies are, you know, using different platforms. It's not just one platform for one company anymore. Somebody might adopt Teams, but other customers of theirs might use something else. So the equipment that you're buying and this Comptel 800 bridges every service. You know, we're not specific to one. You can use anything. And then, you know, the, what I would say is one of the key points as well going forward is We've covered the flexibility, we've covered the quality, and we've covered the user interface. It's got to be easy to set up. And it is. It's just another SIP device these days. But we also have an online service as well, developed actually with ProView, so that we can actually connect everything through the, um, the Comtel and ProView portal, so it's a zero-touch installation. So you can set them out, uh, and everything gets automatically configured for those that are registered with the, uh, with the system. And for those registered with the ProView system as well, of course, a lot of our resellers focus mainly on the desk phones. So say Yearlinks, for example, you can manage your Comptels through the same portal um, as you buy your desk phones, um, be that Yearlinks, NOMs, Polycoms. Um, you can manage it all from the same place um, and provision them uh, in the same way as well. Great. And so if you want to go for the full, full solution with the cameras as well, this is what we offer. We offer the uh, the Comptel 800. Um, we'd suggest the Cam 50, but you could put it with the Cam 20. But this is a really kind of top top solution for a you know the best audio and visual that we could provide. Um, and we provide what we call the one cable connection hub, the OCC hub, into which everything is connected, and all that the user has to do is connect that hub via the orange cable you can see there into their laptop or it's connecting to the PC in the room or whatever they, however they want to work it. So it's very simple. Everything is pre-installed and all the user does is connect the hub, open up their client and you're away for your really high definition web meeting, your video meeting. Um, exceptional quality, um, we mentioned before, and you can still into that meeting add your voice calls. You will be able to add Bluetooth as well next year. Uh, and you can expand it. So you've got a, a standalone audio solution for the small to mid rooms, or you can expand it to the big rooms and you can have video for the best quality price point that we can match. So to summarize then on the 800, we see the, um, of course, the refined Omnisound that we spoke about. Um, you can get much larger meetings, especially with the daisy chaining features. Um, much easier audio expansion as well. I've, um, I've, I have spec'd up um, other manufacturers' uh, conference units before with them um, wanting more than one daisy chain together, and it was remarkably complicated. Um, of course, with Comfortel, you just have one cable from your main unit to your secondary unit, um, uh, and that's that. Um, it's a touch interface, really easy to use, very smartphone-like. Um, so your users can instantly get to grips with it. Um, the five-way call bridging function, multi-connectivity um, with hybrid as well. Um, the provisioning as well that both us and Comtel offer. Um, and like all their other units, um, they do offer bundles as well at the moment with the 300, the 55. Um, it just fits smoothly into any video-based solution. 
So thank you folks, that's the introduction. That's all we wanted to kind of tell you about today. 